Well, Neil, I want to ask you sort of, I want to pay, maybe almost pitch you on something. So I think if if you've been paying attention to sort of what's going on still left in Oakland is, is the fans have really been trying to, to organize, figure out ways to, to at least, you know, you know, celebrate themselves, show show that this is not right. I think at the beginning, uh, a lot of people in, in baseball were saying like, ah, no one's going to the stadium anyway. But now people, I think the media has, you know, kind of coalesced around John Fisher's a, a, dum- a dummy. And if this doesn't happen, it won't be surprising. And all these fans here, you know, have been fighting back. And, and we, you know, they're there, but for the, you know, grace of God, go my, go my, you know, my fandom. Um, this is, I think, a, a long shot, but uh, we've been talking a lot with the the the, the teachers union in Nevada. Uh, they're trying both sort of a lawsuit and uh, a referendum method. Uh, the referendum has a long way to go. They need they need a ruling from the Nevada Supreme Court that uh, like at least affirms that like this wording is okay, so they could start collecting signatures, and they need a whole lot of money. Uh, what the plan sort of I think that that I've talked with the the Nevada Teachers Union is and w- I, that I've spoken with a lot of fans is is you know we're having another night uh and on opening night another night of sort of protest where we're all going to just hang out in the parking lot and have a big boycott uh and at that night the schools over stadiums that Nevada Teachers Union is going to be in the parking lot asking A's fans to donate whatever they would have spent in the stadium that night uh for this referendum uh, you know, again, this is a long shot. Basically, sort of everything needs to go right. Uh, but if they do, you know, in, in some sense, you know, this wouldn't this wouldn't be the ultimate transformational moment. But but in some sense, I think that this would be a great story of, a t- you know, the, t- the threat is always we're going to leave. And what this would be is is fans of the team that is leaving coming together and sort of pooling, pooling their money against the billionaire and trying to fight back. So, you know, referendums, you know. Only it's not a, it's definitely not a sure thing with referendums for stadium funding, whereas like I think the legislature can always be sort of bought off. Uh, you know, when you have the referendums, that's not necessarily the thing. Uh, you know, how what would that do you think that that would be sort of a big moment for stadium funding if ACE fans got together, funded this referendum and put it on the ballot in a different state? Yeah, I can't think of a, of a example that exactly went down like that. Um, and I think certainly everything the A's fans are doing is making a case to Major League Baseball, if not necessarily to John Fisher, right, that Oakland is still a good baseball market and that the problem is John Fisher and is not Oakland, right? So, I mean, th- look, there's still a whole bunch of things that can go wrong with the Vegas move, right? The referendum could could knock it down. The lawsuit could knock it down. Uh, Fisher could not be able to find his $500 million in uh, investors. The price of the stadium could go up. The They might not be able to figure out a way to fit it on the site. There's, you know, a million different things that, you know, the economy could change and suddenly, you know, it doesn't look like as good a deal as it, as it I mean, not that it looks like a great deal now, um, but it could look even worse. So there's all kinds of ways that this could, could collapse, right? So you certainly want if you're an A's fan, you know, you want to be positioning yourself and the city as, okay, if Fisher's not going to, you know, to taking the team to Las Vegas, we want either for him to come back here or for him to sell it to somebody local, right? And Major League Baseball has certainly done that before. Look what they did with the Giants, right? You know, the Giants were ready to, uh, to uh, move to Tampa Bay and they did not because Major League Baseball decided, okay, we think it would be better. We got another guy who wants to buy it, buy the team, and we think that uh, it would be better to keep the team there. Um, so, so that's a possibility. Ironically enough, John Fisher was involved in that group. <laughs> and then the, and uh, then, the, and then the, it's only so, fuck I, I was going to say there's only so many billionaires in the world, but uh, there's just a lot right now. There were only so many then. <laughs> um, but, and then the, the, the other thing of course, is that if they do move, you want to be in a position to be the, the Cleveland Browns, right? Where, yeah. okay, we want to be first in line for, for an expansion team. In either case, the problem then is what, what do you do to get the team, right? Whether it's to get the team right. back, what do you do for, you know, the new owner or for the, the owner of expansion team or whatever right. uh, is, uh, you know, is Howard Terminal still on the table? Is something at uh, the Coliseum a possibility? But, you know, you don't want Major League Baseball to come back and say, congratulations, you've got the team back or you've got a new team. 
if <laughs> you build a three billion dollar stadium with a diamond encrusted yeah. roof. Yeah. Um, yeah. so that's that's the danger there. Um, yes. and again, you do it. Um, but uh, I, I think it's it's a worry that you know it's only half the battle to get a franchise. Then you have to win the terms on which you're going to get the franchise. Well, I, you know, I think, I think this fight has been, you're right. Like, you know, it's just like, you know, get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, my view is my view about this whole thing is, is fan fan groups. You know, there's no like playbook, I think for fan groups to fight back when, uh, when, you know, they just say, fine, screw you, we're going to take more money from this other team. And so, you know, whatever, whatever A's fans can figure out to do and whatever we can do, you know, and if that's honestly, like if that's, if, if collectively we raise half a million dollars, a million dollars, like compared to what Nevada's offering, I mean, that's, that's a great deal to mess John Fisher, I think. So <laughs> I really hope, like, I, you know, I really hope we can do that. And, you know, there's some big, there's some big donors out there in the Bay area who I think, you know, if they see A's fans putting putting their money where their mouth is, I think will will fall fall in behind us. So, um, you're absolutely right. I don't want to be in the situation where we sort of win them back and then are given a three billion dollar bill. That's not what I want at all. Uh, but at this moment, you know, I just kind of if. If I know that I helped uh, to cause John Fisher uh, uh, headaches that cost him ten million dollars, you know, then then I'll die happy. <laughs> I just hope there could. I just hope there can be another in stadium event at some point this year, if only so that uh, we can again watch the national TV announcers try to avoid mentioning what everybody <laughs> is doing. What's that was happening? My favorite part of yeah. twenty twenty three. <laughs> that was great. Uh, what our plan, I think what our plan might be now is for, for a boycott is to just to really limit how many people go in on opening night. And then maybe like in the fifth inning, everyone just lays in on their horn. And so it'll be an empty <laughs> stadium. And then all of a sudden it just sounds like every car alarm goes off at the same time. That's, that's our plan right now. So all right. we got, I'll, we got I'll, a lot I'll tune in for that game. 